Hi friends. So, in the last video, we have seen for a multi-degree of freedom system, how to determine the natural frequency by using the Rayleigh's method. Now we are going to see one problem on the Rayleigh's method. So for that, I have selected one problem in which there is one cantilever beam having two rotors. One rotor is of 100 kg mass, second rotor is of 50 kg mass. And from fixed end, the first rotor is at distance 18 cm. And from this rotor, the second one is at 30 cm distance. So here I will mention this distance as A and as the all the units for E and I are given in meter. So we will convert this 18 centimeter into meter. So 18 centimeter means 180 mm. So it will be 0 0.18 meter. Okay. And this length is 30 centimeter means 300 mm. So it will be 0.3 meter. So I have converted the G1 distance A and L in meter. Okay. Now to solve this problem, we are going to use the Rayleigh's method. So I'll write the formulas that we are going to use for this system. Formulas that we are going to use for this system. The first formula required is of natural frequency and that we have der derived in last session and this omega n is given by under root g summation m y divided by summation m y square here i is equal to 1 to n so m i y i okay so i have not written the i so here it is the summation of m y here the summation of m y square means to solve this one will require the mass 1 mass 2 that we know and will require the displacement under mass 1 and displacement under mass 2. Now these displacements we can determine by using the formula of influence coefficient and we can write as the force under mass 1 that is the m1g into influence coefficient at 1 1 means displacement at 1 due to load at 1 this a11 means displacement at 1 due to load at 1 plus m2g into a12 that is displacement at 1 due to load at 2. So here you can see in this formula I want the displacement at 1. So here a1 here also a1 in first condition we have taken load at 1 in second condition we have taken load at 2. So a11 means displacement at 1 due to load at 1 a12 means displacement at 1 due to load at 2 means we have dis determined the displacement under load 1. Similarly we can write y2 equal to m1g and here it will be a2 a21. Now why a21 because we require displacement under 2 but load at 1 see here the load at 1 and displacement under 2. Similarly, we can write here M2G A22. Now, what is this A22? Displacement under load 2 due to load at 2. Okay. So, if I put the formula, this formula, I will get the displacement under load 1 and displacement under load 2. Now, again, to determine this A11, A12, A22, again, we will have to use the formula. Now, the A11. A11 means displacement under 1 due to load at 1. Now, how to determine this displacement under 1? See, this is the cantilever beam and in the strength of materials, we have derived the equation for cantilever beam subjected to load and at free end, the formula is WL cube divided by 3 EI. WL cube divided by 3 EI. So, I have modified that formula. Just see, here I have not written the W because already in this formula we have used the weight. So, here there is no need to write this weight. Okay. So, A11 is 
L cube divided by 3 E i and the distance of rotor 1 we have taken as A. So it is L cube divided by 3 E i. Actually it is W L cube divided by 3 E i. W is nothing but the weight that we have con uh, considered here in the formula of Y1. So just in the A11 instead of W I have written this L cube divided by 3 E i. So this is the A11. Similarly we can write A22 means displacement at 2 due to load at 2. How to write? Now for 2 it is L cube divided by 3 E i. It is L cube divided by 3 E i similar to A11 we can write A22. And if I want to write A12 which is equal to A21 by Maxwell's reciprocal theorem we can say the influence coefficient of 1 with respect to 2 or influence coefficient of 2 with respect to 1 is same. So A12 will be equal to A21 will be equal to its formula is A square in bracket 3 L minus A divided by 6 EI. Okay. So if I determine A11, A22, A12 and if I put the value here, I will get the deflection under load 1, deflection under load 2 and if I put these two values into this formula of Rayleigh's method, then we will get the natural frequency. Means to solve this one, we will require these number of formulas. Okay, now we will start to solve. So we will start with this A11. So now we will determine the value A11 that is displacement under 1 due to load at 1. So what is the formula is A11? It is A cube divided by 3 E i. Okay. So just put the value of A cube. A is nothing but 0 0.18. 0 0.18 cube divided by 3 just see the value of E and I E is 1.96 into 10 raised to 11 and I is yes, I will put the value first 1.96 into 10 raised to 11 into what is the value of I 4 into 10 raised to minus 7 all the values that I have put here are in meter Okay, so E I in they are given in meter, so I have also converted A into meter. Now, just determine the value of A11. Put all these values on calculator, we will get A11. And the value of A11 is 2.479 into 10 raised to minus 8. Okay, so we have, we have the value of A11. Similarly, solve for A22. The formula is L cube divided by 3 E i. So what is the value of L? It is 0.3 meter cube divided by 3 into E 1.96 into 10 raised to 11 into what is the value of i? 4 into 10 raised to minus 7. Okay. So put the values all on Kelsey. We will get the answer of A22. So A22 will be, let's put the values, we will get the answer that is 1.147 into 10 raised to minus 7. So this is the value of A22. Now we will determine the remaining value that is A12 or A21. So A12 will be A square in bracket 3L minus A divided by 6EI. Now we will put the value of A. What is the value of A? It is 0 0.18 square in bracket 3 into value of L. It is 0 0.3 into what is the value of L? Sorry, I. So here instead of multiplication we have to make one correction so here I change the pin okay. so 3 into L minus A what is the value of A? 0 0.18 
डिवाइड बाय सिक्स इंटू ई वन पॉइंट नाइन्टी सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू इलेवन इंटू आय फोर इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस सेवन ओके जस्ट सॉल्व दिस वन यूल गेट द आंसर ऑफ ए वन टू सो ए वन टू विल बी इक्वल टू सॉल्व दिस वन सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी फोर पॉइंट नाइन फाइव नाइन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस एट सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ ए वन टू सो वी हैव द इन्फ्लुएंस पेपिशंट्स नाउ पुट द इन्फ्लुएंस पेपिशंट्स टू डिटरमाइन द लोड अंडर ईच सॉरी डिफ्लेक्शन अंडर ईच लोड सो नाउ वील डिटरमाइन डिफ्लेक्शन अंडर ईच लोड नाउ टू डिटरमाइन दिस The formula is y1 equal to m1g that is load and load of one into a11 plus m2g into a12. Put the values. So m1, the mass one which is given 100 kg kg into g 9.81 into a11 it is 2.479. Into 10 raised to minus 8. Here you can see the value of a1 plus m2. It is 50 kg g 9.81 into value of a12. What is the value of a12? It is 4.4.959. 4.959 into 10 raised to minus 8. So we will get the deflection under load one. So after solving, we'll get the answer: zero point four eight six into ten raised to minus four meter. Okay, so this is the value of y one. Now similarly, determine the value of y two. So y two will be formula m one g m one g into a two one plus m two g. Into a two. So put the values. M one is hundred. G is nine point eight one. What is the value of a two one? It is here. You can see a one two and a two one is same. So it is four point nine five nine into ten raised to minus eight plus m two fifty. G is nine point eight one. Into a two two, a two two is one point one four seven into ten raised to minus seven. Put all the values in the calculator. We get the answer. Okay. So all this one get the answer, and the answer comes out to be ten point four eight into ten raised to minus five. Okay. So we have deflection under each load. Now we can write the formula by using the Rayleigh's method. This is the formula by using the Rayleigh's method. So I'll write the formula. So by Rayleigh's method, the formula is omega n is equal to under root. See here, I'm going to write a complete formula g into g into what is the formula? M1 y1 plus M2 y2 means summation M1 divided by summation M1 y1 square plus M2 y2 square summation M1 square. See here we have only two rotors, so I have used the summation for two masses M1 M2 M1. Okay, now put the values. So what is the value of G? G is nothing but 9.81. M1 it is 100. Y1 see here Y1 value 0.486 into 10 raised to minus 4 plus value of Y2 sorry mass 250 into value of Y2 10.48 into 10 raised to minus 5. This is the numerator. 
or denominator m1 100 into value of y1 0 0.486 into 10 raised to minus 4 but this y1 raised to plus y2 is 50 into 10.48 into 10 raised to minus 5 so this is the value of y2 raised to 2 okay. so all this one will get the natural frequency so after putting all these values we will get the answer 354.96 radian per second so this is what is the answer okay so this is the simple problem from the multi degree of freedom system where we have used the Rayleigh's method see the simple formula for Rayleigh's method is summation g sorry under root g summation m y divided by summation m y square and how to determine this y1 y2 that is the deflection under root 1 deflection under root 2 with the influence coefficient okay and how to determine this influence coefficient here it is cantilever beam and at cantilever beam from free end the formula is wl cube divided by 3 ei so here l cube divided by 3 ei and w we have, we have written here okay so by using that formula we have put it all the values to determine influence coefficient a11 a22 a12 means k21 and then we have determined the deflection under each load y1 y2 and from that we got the omega n value Thank you.